Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying five different things that Eric sent us from Texas. Thank you very, very much, Eric. Three of the items are actually made in Texas. We have the uh, Big Little Fudge in Coconut A Lot and Hunka Chunka. Hunka Chunka. And, th and those are made in Texas. And these are, this is the Omega Nutrition Bar. It's a pumpkin spice crisp. And they have two cowtails, which they do sell cowtails around here, just not in these flavors. One is um, strawberry and the other one is caramel apple. Hmm. Interesting. Let's get the bar out of the way first. The OD bar. <laughs> Taylor um, was reading the package. She said grass. I said, so now we're eating grass? <laughs> it says no. grass-fed whey. <laughs> it's grass-fed whey. Nutrition shared. It says give good to your body and your community. 14 uh, grams of protein. Omega-3s. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's gluten-free. It is a good size bar. It is 200 calories, and it is made in Austin, Texas. So here we go. It looks big in the package. Oh, I like the color. Oh, yeah, it's a pretty good size bar. Yeah, I like the color. The, I mean, it looks like pumpkin. What flavor? Actually? Pumpkin spice okay. crisp. I hear the crisp. Is that a big enough piece? We'll see. You immediately get pumpkin spice. Mm -hmm. And there's a little bit of a crunch. Mm -hmm. And once you chew it, it comes kind of uh, chewy. Not like gum chewy. Just I think it's good. Squishy. You really get a ginger, a ginger flavor. Mm -hmm. I think that's a really good bar. Do you it's like it? It sticks in your teeth. I like the texture of it. I like that it's. I like the crispiness of it. I like those little pieces. And for 200 calories, I think that would fill yeah. me up. There's no sweetness to it really at all. It's, it's all spicy. It's all it's spice. Good. It's all pumpkin spice. But I think it's a good pumpkin spice. It's good. It's, it has a little bit of after feel for me. The mouth. My mouth is a little. It's not grainy, but it's like a little. I don't know, it's got a coating on my tongue. I, a like, I think it's, but it's, a, good. it's, it's a not, it's yeah, good. it really it's is good. That's very pleasant. Okay, now we have the big little fudge bars. Now, when we did the box opening, I was thinking that Eric had sent us these before. It was Allison that sent us these from Michigan. Alice sent us three of these from Michigan uh, back in July. That's why I didn't remember, is because it's, you know, it's later in the year now, so I'm not going to remember from July. Uh, she actually sent us the uh, Mega Maple Nut. I wrote it down. Mega Maple Nut, The Great Divide, and Big League. So if you want to see the review of those, they are on the channel in one video. And so now we have um, Hunka Chunka. This is chocolate fudge, cherries, and pecans. And let's see. These were made, I, I told you they were made in Texas. They were made... I have to find it again. There, are, it's 190 calories, and it's made in Montgomery, Texas. And I have, I have never seen this around here. No, it's fudge. No, it's fudge. It's yeah, a hunk of fudge. It's a hunk of fudge. Yeah. Sure. Here, hold on. Get out of the pumpkin spice crumbs. <laughs> Don't want pumpkin spice in the chocolate. Yeah, and look at that. I mean, that's a nice yeah. look. There's a cherry right there. Look, uh, that's amazing. There there's is a full size cherry. A full size cherry in that little bitty piece. Mm. Good fudge. It's very creamy. I like the texture. Mm-hmm. It takes a few seconds to get that cherry flavor. Now the first I wasn't getting it at all. And now I can taste it. It's almost like the cherries they put in uh, fruit cake, Like they're candied cherries. Mm -hmm. That's what those are. That's delicious. And I love the um, the flavor of the pecan. Mm. That's I get more really of the cherry good. flavor though at the end. Yeah, you do get the cherry flavor, but. I like that, it's really good. You get the texture. Um, 
I, I love the, the texture of, of the pecans. Yeah, if we had those around here, I'd be eating. They'd be in trouble. That'd be my nightly mm -hmm. snack. How many calories are we? 190. Yeah, I'd be eating that for a nightly snack. Yeah. <laughs> that, I mean, that really, that really is good. Especially knowing that they're only 190 calories. Mm -hmm. I, I eat that much in a candy bar. Tonight, right. So. Yeah, you could either eat a piece of that fudge or you could eat that bar for 200. I'd rather eat the fudge. The yeah. bar is Any good. Day. Okay. The uh, this is the coconut a lot, and it is chocolate fudge, coconut, and almonds. Now this is 210 calories. Right. It's probably because of the almonds. I don't know. Coconut probably has some calories in it too. I see some hunks of the the nuts in there. Mmm. You I taste feel that the coconut. coconut. I can taste it. I haven't got the taste yet. I can feel it. Mmm. That is so, so good. I got a little bit of coconut, and I just, mm -hmm. don't, I just don't get that mouth, that um, really strong flavor that you did. Yeah, I got it completely. I mean, it's there, definitely, but. Probably because anywhere you slice in there, it's gonna be different. And it was know? full of coconut. It doesn't look like there's any coconut, but when you're chewing it, you can really mm -hmm. feel those little slivers of coconut mm -hmm. all through there. That's good. Uh, that is really nice quality. I don't know how much it costs, though. And that's the thing. It that's would be true. interesting They're to like see. The dollar fifty a piece would be all expensive. Then it would be expensive. But depending on how much it costs, that would be worth it because those are so good. I'd pay a dollar a piece for those. Would you? Easily. Oh yeah, easily. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Which one do you want to try first? Cowtails. The, the strawberry or the caramel? Why don't you do strawberry? Strawberry. Okay. You were gonna say caramel apple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so good. Well, usually strawberry is either very fakey or it's. Um, not there. It smells good. Yeah. It smells like yeah. strawberry milk. Do you want to just bite Ooh, it or do you want to cut it? It white in the middle. Yeah, it's like filled. Ooh, you can like squeeze a, it and the stuff will come out. It looks like a zit. Mm. Now, I like that. But okay. I, I like fake fruit. <laughs> it's okay. The texture's a little weird, but. The texture is different, but I like it. This whole stick is 110 calories. Dude, that strawberry is really bitter when you get down with it, though. It is. When you swallow it, it's like bitter, bitter. It's not a. It's not as strong as strawberry is like you'd get from a Starburst or no. something like that. It's a. Um, it's a watered down strawberry, but you still know what flavor it is when oh, yeah. you bite into it. How many calories is that one? 110. This one's 110 as well. Okay. This is the apple caramel, or a caramel apple. <clears throat> yep, this one's got a red center. The texture is weird though, it's got like a, yeah, see it's red. That one tastes really fake. I mean, like really, 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 really fake. <laughs> like they mixed a bunch of chemicals together, got that flavor. Mm-hmm. I don't taste caramel. Mm -hmm. I do get a little hint of an apple, but I think what they thought was an apple. Yeah, it's like really, if, if you, it's like aliens. If you were to describe the flavor of an apple and they recreated it, that would be what you yeah. got. It's not. It's not bad. It's not inedible, but it wouldn't be my choice at all. No. It, to me, that does not taste like caramel or apple. And they both have an aftertaste to them. Yeah, they do. Uh, we've had a cowtail before, and it was really, really Chocolate. good. Uh, so this is just uh, I, the strawberries. Okay, like I said, it's just watered down. That other one, I just, it's not bad. Like I said, it's just, it's just not caramel apple. I don't know what yeah. it is, but it's chemicals. Yeah. <laughs> it's a stick of chemicals. Um, my favorite thing though is the fudge. And the cherry one specifically. The, the cherry one is, yeah, the cherry one's good. I like the coconut one quite a bit. But I tasted more coconut than you did. Yeah. So that might've made a difference. 
So Eric, thank you very, very much. We really appreciate this. You know that um, everything that you see, uh, we put in baggies. The reason I'm bringing this up is because people ask me, what do you do with that food after the review? We put it in baggies and then we go back to it later or right after the review. Sometimes uh, it will disappear from the plate, right? Or if, we, or if we know we've cut it, like cut pieces of it all and, and we didn't necessarily care for it, I will literally take it to work. Take it to way. work. Yeah, sometimes. Because yeah, depending they know, on what it is. They know so. that I'm not going to take in something that I've gnawed on. Right. Like like, <laughs> like, like the cow tails, we bit those. The cow tails, we bit them. He would never take them in. But uh, the bar, we sliced it off. So we, if we really didn't want the bar later or didn't like yeah, it, take it to work. he could take it to work because we haven't actually taken a bite out of it. Yeah. So sometimes with some foods that happens, with others, we put we it in the drawer it. and yeah. we go back to it. Sometimes it goes to Andrew and Christina's house. Yeah. So, but I just wanted to let you all know. Um, Eric, thank you again. And I hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, I will have a picture of everything. And thanks for watching.